Hi, I'm Randy Estes with Valve Accessories and Controls, and today we're going to be talking about how to mount and calibrate a D400 digital positioner. The first thing that we'll need to do is determine what kind of mounting kit that we're going to use on a rack and pinion actuator. Today we're going to be using a simple ISO mounting bracket. The second thing we need to determine is how we're going to mount this positioner onto the, to the actuator. This little arrow on the back of the positioner needs to be rotating between the A and the B. With the ISO bracket, we use a D1 spindle, which then will mount on the shaft here. Now that we have our positioner mounted up, we input a 4 to 20 milliamp supply to it. When the screen displays for the first time, you will see a sense position. Remember, when we are calibrating the unit, we need to make sure that the sense position is between positive 57 and negative 57. We can read that this one is at positive 48.8. To stroke it to the other side, we simply press the up arrow key, and to make it go faster, while pressing the up arrow key, we press the down arrow key. And now we're at negative 45. This is well within our range. To calibrate this positioner, we know that it's on a rotary actuator. So what we will do is we'll press and hold the inner button. We'll keep holding it until adjust rot appears. Once it appears, we release the inner button, then we press it and we hold it through the countdown. Now the positioner will calibrate itself. We want to show you an example of an error message that you would get when you try to calibrate the position when it's out of quadrant. As you can see, here it's listing out a number of a negative 16.7. When we go to stroke it, it obviously reads a, a non-number, which means it's way out of quadrant. So when we try to calibrate this positioner by pressing and holding the inner button, It should very quickly read out of quadrant when it tries to do its calibration. Now to get the D400 back into the correct quadrant, we'll need to remove it from the actuator and make sure that that arrow is pointing between the A and the B on the back of the positioner. We've already done that and reinstalled our D400 to the actuator. Now we're reading cinch position again to make sure that we're reading between a positive set 57 and negative 57. Now that we've finished with calibration on our D400, the D400 puts it into control fixed. This is the, the calibration setting it learned here on the bench. But once we put this valve package into flow or into line, the dynamics on the valve and on this valve package will change. To optimize the performance of that valve package, we should put it into adaptive control. To do this, we press the mode button and the up arrow key or down arrow key so that we read 1.0 and we release the mode button. 